There's so many emotions when you're in the start line. Excitement. Excited to get started and start pedaling my bike as, as hard as I can. That, that little bit of nervousness, you don't know what's going to happen. My heart rate's going up and down, up and down. You feel like the butterflies in your tummy. It's just this balled up little excitement. All that really matters is the moment that you're in. My cleat is messed up and the bike was broken three seconds before the race and all this, none of that matters. What's going through my head is basically nothing except this is the present moment that I'm in. I'll say to myself, you are shark brained and you run these streets. And then when you start, it's like, Ooh. Okay. Uh, just tell us your name, what team you're on, and where you're from. My name is Ashley. Oh, no, you're fine. My name is Ashley Weaver. I ride for Team LA Sweat, and I live in St. Louis, Missouri. My name is Andrea Steer. Uh, I race for ButcherBot Cycling, and I currently live in Chicago, Illinois, uh, but I grew up in Maine, actually. My name is Catherine Lynn, uh, but everybody on my team calls me Cat. Um, I'm from Boulder, Colorado, but I live in St. Louis now, and I race for the home team road crew. <laughs> um, my name is Kelly Sam. I am the owner and founder of LA Sweat, and I currently reside in Chicago, Illinois. Um, I'm Mariana Valadez. I'm from Mexico, and I represent the team LA Sweat. My name is Paige Kostanecki. I race for Butcher Box Cycling, presented by Look, and I'm from Richmond, Virginia. It is pretty much like F1 or NASCAR, but for bikes. There are so many people working either behind the scenes, inside the race, for one person to win. It's a teamwork, but only one person can win. That's like the beauty of crit and road race. We are careening through turns. We're trying to overtake each other uh, and it's aggressive and it's a display of strength, uh, but also of grace and precision. That feeling, achieving a goal, that's what I'm chasing day in and day out. It's very strategic, especially at the Pro 1-2 level, teams will try to work for a certain rider that they feel um, is suited for the course. It's addicting. <laughs> just to, like nail a corner as fast as you can and just keep doing it again and again and again. I think people should really pay attention to women's pro racing because it is so underfunded and 90% of the women that are racing across the US are not being paid. The more people that watch, the more attainable this is as an actual viable professional sport. A lot of people don't realize with women's professional cycling is that most of us do have full-time jobs. They're working every morning before we race. They're working in a van as we drive between cities. Because we aren't being paid, we're much more dynamic of racers. So the racers are more animated, they want it more, and they have nothing to lose. It's just such a great group of people that you get to meet and get to travel around with. We are definitely a traveling circus. You're seeing the same people every weekend. Places like St. Louis and Chicago and LA and you know a lot of the places that I've lived and established the team have been so supportive and it, like we wouldn't be able to be around without it. So each place we go uh, is just a welcoming community that, that we love to be in.
This has been um, a very well received race from the racers. Um, I've been to it a couple times. It leads to really good competition and good racing. Uh, so it's a great race. I love to be here. Having Gateway Cup um, in my new home in St. Louis is definitely really, really special to me. I'm like really excited to bring all my best friends here and everybody that I met um, along the road. It's kind of cool to see their reaction and see them getting to like see St. Louis and fall in love with St. Louis as well. The cycling community is just so jazzed here that, I mean, regardless of how well the racing goes, it just makes you believe in bikes and racing again. I want everybody to cheer super loud because we're super excited for this race, right? Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. There's many goals within one specific race, right? So specifically for Gateway, there's four days, which then create an omnium, which is like a an overall of the four days. So there's a race each day, and then there's the overall race of the whole weekend. Um, so you're kind of trying to play like who's feeling good that day, and then who is also in contention for winning the overall. And then you've got everyone's job inside of the race. <laughs> Gateway is a really cool race. Uh, it comes at the end of the season, uh, and so people are looking to end it on uh, a really fun, really flashy note. Going into each race, there's a lot of different factors, and so that's where it's kind of nice having our team owner, Kelly, who does a good job, and we like talk and kind of figure out what our strategy is gonna be. Now, that doesn't always work out, but, and we always have like, Plan B, C, D, E, F, G, just kind of base it on the course. I had no idea I would be racing. I remember uh, standing and watching the first ever Kurt race at Forest Park last year with my friend. We were standing watching and I remember him telling me like, damn, those guys are so fast, but it looks so risky. And I'm like, yeah, that seems pretty wild. A couple months later, I found Roku and yeah, here I am. I started racing back in, I believe 2011, just my college had a cycling team and I was like, why not? Let's, no idea how to race a bike, but let's try. I just went into, bigger races, got more exposure, and then I started seeing all of these like fantastic women racing these like big races and that's when I knew like I want to be there one day like racing these pro races around the country um, and so that's kind of like once I saw that I knew that's where I wanted to end up. Whenever I encounter a part that I don't like, that to me is an opportunity to flip it into something that I do like. I am not wild about racing in the rain. You can acknowledge that fear because it is valid. You know what I mean? I'm gonna say, yeah, that is gonna be a tricky corner, but this is a really great opportunity for us to race in a different strategy. It's not gonna be as dangerous because maybe people aren't gonna be going as fast because they're gonna be more cautious. And if you crash in the rain, you're usually more prone to slide and you're not gonna have as much of an impact. Crashing. It's, it's gonna happen no matter what. It's part of the sport and you just learn to bounce back from it and to move on and to look forward to the next race. It's fun, man, it's fun. Stand near a corner where we're ripping by and you know, you'll be surprised how close we are, how fast we're going and you really get a feeling for, you know, this is, there's a lot to the race, um, more than riding your bike from point A to point B. Once you start to understand what's happening, it gets a lot more exciting to watch. I've been riding since I was four, and now I'm 25. 
So I've been writing for 21 years. <laughs> I start because I have two brothers and the oldest start writing. So I saw him and I don't know, I was excited. Then that's how I end on the bike. I started racing in, I don't know, I guess it would be five or six years ago now. I really wanted to be a competitive power lifter. I got really into weightlifting, and before I really was able to get actually serious with it, I hurt my shoulder, and I had to get a pretty serious surgery on it. And during that recovery period, I would just sit on the indoor spin bike, and just miserable for like four hours. I didn't know what else to do with my time. I was in so much pain. I was thinking back to when I would ride with my dad, and how meaningful that time was and how much I loved it and just being outside. Uh, and so I was like, you know, I should get a road bike again. I should get a bike. Wanted to test myself. And so I was like, well, NYU has a cycling team. So I'm gonna go and join that. And then that was it. My job in the team is to be active and to be really aggressive and to help our team leader, uh, Andrea, uh, you know, to do all the work so that she doesn't have to do as much work and to get up all the points for this uh, series that we're doing, the American um, Criterium Cup. I got on the gas to help make the field fast. Um, our director, Justin, was like, keep going. And so I was like, all right. And so I just kept on the gas. There's a few competitions within the race. Um, there's the individual competition, which I'm sitting second overall for right now. What we're really chasing is the team overall. So you put all those points together, the points that each rider has gotten, plus the sprint points, and you get a team score. This is the last race that we have the opportunity to do that. I started riding bikes when I was about 16 or 17. Um, I was a soccer player, I needed to cross train. I had a cousin I looked up to who was an Iron Man, and she suggested I get on a bike, and I did, and I loved it. Kept riding because it kept up with the, the fitness I needed, and eventually ended up getting into racing, loved it, kind of dabbled in and out of it, um, and then finally got my groove with it, um, actually during my medical residency. I raced for five or six years. And then I've been running the team um, as Ellie Sweat for eight years. I wanted to start a cycling team because as I was going into racing and getting more serious about it, I couldn't find a team that I really wanted to be a part of. They were all a little bit elitist and not really fun. I come from a fixed gear world and I already had sponsorship as an individual athlete. So I was like, well, I'll just start my own. And now we're here eight years later. <laughs> On the last lap, it's just, you kind of get into this like groove, into this like, they call it like a flow state where just like everything just kind of like falls into place and you know exactly like what you need to do, where you need to be. I would describe it as like a laser focus. Feet become inches, inches become centimeters. And you know, in, in that final lap and that sprint, positioning is so crucial. Because you want to be in a spot where you're set up well for the sprint. That means moving up as much as you can. It's always so fast. Sometimes you don't have even time to think what to do. Seeing just everything and like all your hard work, your team's hard work just kind of plays out. I really don't hear the crowd much in that moment. I'm so focused on the bike in front of me, the bike near me, the finish line, the pavement, everything. That is your spot, go take it. Don't give it up, don't get swarmed. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Do not give up, keep going. I can do this, I can do this. I know I can, I've been training for this. The conditions played a pretty big part in today's race. Uh, rainy conditions are always tough and made the course really slick. 
with a really kind of crazy race with a bunch of crashes and wet roads and wet paint, uh, I think they handled themselves really well. We came out second and fourth. You know, all in all, with the cards dealt, I think we did a great job. I got four today and we're there at the gateway of Newm, which is really nice because we we're just ending the season and this is a nice way to end. It sounds corny, but like, I love all these women so much. The different trials and tribulations that we go through in the race, outside of it, in our personal lives, like it uh, brings us together in a new and intimate way. You know, I'm literally racing Saturday night, um, packing my bags up Sunday, going to clinic Monday morning, doing Monday through Friday in my clinic, and then um, flying out Friday. It's a lot, but you enjoy a lot what you're doing. So I think that's the good thing of it. Winning's always fun, but to me, like, I always have a number one goal of having fun. Just experiencing and learning everything that I can, and the results are just secondary. I would say ultimately the thing that keeps bringing me back, aside from like just having fun on bikes, is just having such an amazing team and even the community itself, just filled with so many great people. We got into it because we love it, because it's fun, because we love each other and we think that it's exciting, and because it brings something out of us that makes us better people. I love ride my bike, it's just like that. And also when you have good company, like my team, that's give me a lot of motivation. I, I do it mostly for myself, because I, I want, to be better each time. The end goal is just seeing how, how good can you be? How good can you become?